Good morning, Bethel Church. It is so good to be with you this morning or whatever time you're watching this recording. Here is combos and coffee time, and I hope that you got your coffee with you, and I hope specifically today that you have a notepad or a phone to take notes with and your Bible. We are going to go through a brand new journey today. We are finished our series on James, and today we start off a brand new series called Healthy Habits. This series is going to be absolutely incredible. We are going to journey through healthy habits from today all the way through to the end of November where we're going to cover things like boundaries, healthy habits in worship, healthy habits in prayer, healthy habits in your finances, all these great things. Today specifically though, we're going to talk about healthy habits when it comes to our life's vision, our life's vision. And so I encourage you today to go ahead and grab a pen, grab a piece of paper, grab your phone, grab your Bible as we dig into what it is that God has for us today. Now, vision is clearly important, right? Clearly, because it helps us see where it is that we're going to go. Ah, come on, right? You got to get some puns in there when it comes to vision. But vision is super important, especially goal-oriented vision. It allows us to kind of put the the benchmarks in order to, to place the goals in front of us that as we journey through life and different seasons, different chapters, where we're able to say, okay, God, how are we doing in this aspect? How are we doing in that aspect? And encouraging and walking with God and saying, God, would you help me lead closer to that vision that you set before me? So vision is extremely important. For example, this year, 2022, the vision for our church at Bethel is that this is the year of freedom. Come on, somebody yell it. Freedom! (laughs) We believe that this is the year of freedom. And so as a church, we have been marking these goalposts. We have seen freedom in marriages. We have seen uh, freedom when it comes to uh, relationships between parents and students, students and peers at school. We've watched freedom take place on Sunday mornings in worship. Ah! It is so good to worship God together and the freedom that you hear as people sing out every Sunday is just beautiful. We've also seen freedom take place right in our own church services on a Sunday with the baptismal tank. We watched as people stood up and said, as for me, I choose Jesus, freedom and salvation. Uh, We've watched as God has moved so mightily in freedom and we're believing for more. See, this vision was set way back in January but we're carrying it through all the way to the end of this year. And so we have more desire for freedom in our youth ministry. We've got more desire for freedom in our young adults ministry, our small groups, Uh, that care center would experience more freedom as well. We just believe that this is the year where God's vision for our church is that we have the goal of watching him move in freedom. You see what we're doing here? And so today I want to talk about your vision. I want to talk about vision for your life personally. I want to talk about vision for your life when it comes to your family. I want to talk about vision for your life when it comes to your job, your friends, uh, your neighborhood and your neighbors, your community. And I just want to encourage you that God has a plan. He has a vision that we can catch, that we can grab a hold of for every area of our life. See, in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2, it says this, Then the Lord replied to Habakkuk, Write down this revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. See, I believe that it's important for us to write down the vision that God has before us, that we record it in some way, that we tell somebody what it is that God has challenged us with so that we are able to go back to that, either to the person or in our church's uh, uh, instance, uh, our social media accounts, the the Sunday morning that Pastor Peter kind of gave to us that, that vision that God had bestowed on him for freedom. We have that on a podcast. We have that on, on our YouTube channel where we can go back and watch that. It's important important for us that as God sets us goals, that we have this concrete example to go back to to say, okay, God, how are we doing? How are we doing as we journey through this? And so what I want to encourage you to do is this. Today, after you're finished reading this, you still got your coffee with you, I want you to open up your Bible to wherever it is that you are journeying through your devotional. I want you to open up your Bible to maybe one of your favorite scriptures and ask God specifically, God, for my life, What is the vision that you would have for me for this season? Or maybe today you're saying, Pastor Mitch, I really need a fresh vision for our family. Well, you can do that too. God's word speaks to our family. God's word speaks to where it is that he wants to see our family go. But today specifically, all right, ask God for vision for you personally. And then tomorrow, why don't you go to God and say, okay, God, what about for my family? 
Maybe the day after that you say, okay, God, what about my work and my friends and so on and so on to where every aspect of your life has this goalpost, has this orientation where you say, okay, as for me and God, this is where I believe that he is asking me to journey to and go to. All right. And so we want to challenge you with that today. We want to encourage you that God does have a plan. And maybe at the end of today, you're like, oh, I just have more questions. Well, that's great. Go on a journey with God to find out what the vision for this season for your personal life is when it comes to the fruit that God wants to grow in your life. Maybe there's aspects of freedom that you and God uh, together want to, to see come to fruition. Maybe you've been praying all this season as we've been journeying through the year of freedom and you're saying, I just haven't found it yet. May God God, to God be the glory. This is the season to experience that. And so we want to encourage you that one of the healthy habits that you can have is to establish God-given vision in your life. All right, so you have your assignment. All right, Habakkuk 2, verse 2, if you want to go back and read that for yourself. Bethel, we love you guys. Hope you're having a great time today, and we can't wait to see you tomorrow as you talk, as, or next week, sorry, as we talk about more healthy habits that come straight from the Bible into our lives. All right? God bless you guys. Don't forget, at Bethel, you belong.